These 18-wheelers are designed to carry all sorts of cargo, but one thing they won't be carrying? A driver. By the end of the year, Aurora tractor trailers are expected to begin cruising the highways, hauling freight between Dallas and Houston. The Aurora driver is this combination of the hardware, the stuff you can see hanging off the side of the truck here, and then some really interesting software. To avoid crashes, the self-driving semi is outfitted with 25 sensors, including lasers, radars, and cameras. Within the next four years, Aurora and its competitors expect to put thousands of these autonomous trucks on the road, transporting goods nearly around the clock, hoping to accelerate product delivery times and lower costs for consumers. But critics aren't sold on the safety. The company's going to decide when they think they're safe. And the only thing the regulators are going to do is judge them after the fact if something went wrong. That's where we are. But Aurora's CEO, touting safety, demonstrated the truck's ability to weave through obstacles and avoid pedestrians. We want to be out there with thousands or tens of thousands of trucks on the road. And to do that, we have to be safe. Meanwhile, with pedestrian fatalities on the rise nationwide, up more than 80 percent since 2009, new action to make cars safer. A new federal safety regulation will require all new cars and trucks be equipped with automatic emergency braking, or AEB systems, which use sensors to hit the brakes to avoid a crash when the driver fails to. Beginning in 2029, AEB systems will be required to prevent collisions with other cars at speeds up to 62 miles per hour and will be required to stop entirely before hitting a pedestrian pedestrian at up to 45 miles per hour. Regulators say the technology could save hundreds of lives per